What's up, folks? I've got another Bible review for you guys. This is a Bible that I never thought I'd get to review. Uh, this is uh, the Nelson Signature Series. And uh, these were produced, I don't know, 15 years ago. And they are extremely expensive. You see premium calfskin leather, lifetime guarantee, center column references. Uh, you see the presentation area and uh, the very bottom, what makes this, uh, the top thing and the bottom thing is what makes these so special. You have the, the Abba calfskin binding along with the French mill paper. So very similar to the uh, foundation editions from the same time frame that were Abba bound with the French mill paper. Uh, these are equally as nice. Uh, they come in this awesome box. And uh, here's the, uh, for this specific edition, there's the identification information. And I think we have an ISBN on the other end there. So if you're looking for one of these, this is a, <laughs> these are these are pricey. And uh, the only reason I'm able to review one of these, I have a friend who bought one and he knew that I had yet to review it and he actually sent it to me. So I'm being super careful. This is not my Bible. And, uh, and I'm going to take good care of it and uh, show it to you guys uh, and then send it back to them. So here is the tan uh, calfskin edition of the uh, New King James Signature Edition. This thing is just beautiful. I love the three ribs, the three raised ribs on the spine. Uh, I've, I've replicated this style, uh, the spine style on some of my own personal rebinds. Uh, you can see that I do a similar uh, style at times. I just think it looks super attractive. And this Abba calf skin is the bee's knees, okay? The interior uh, calf skin liner is awesome as well. Uh, this one is in mint condition. The, the gilding is, is perfect. Uh, this is about a three or $400 Bible. I can't remember what my buddy paid for it, but that's exactly what they're worth. I've seen them sell for that much uh, without any hesitation. So let's uh, open it up and take a look at it. All right, so I'm going to hold it and try to do this uh, while the, the camera's on the tripod. So pardon me if it seems a little uh, uh, awkward. So here's the uh, the tab into the block. You see the, the uh, corner work is impeccable. And, uh, and up here, it's, it's amazing. Uh, the liner, it has a good thick uh, feel to it. It gives the cover a nice, a nice firmness, but it's not super thick. Uh, it's really, really nice. I'm going to do another comparison video comparing this with a few other uh, bindings, uh, calfskin bindings. And I'll also do a comparison video with its uh, closest competition uh, in the New King James. And, uh, and we'll see that as well. While I've got it, I'm going to make a few videos with it. So uh, you have the uh, cardstock end sheets there. And there's the presentation page. You have uh, these legacy pages. That's what was mentioned on the front of the, uh, of the box. You have a lot of additional, like family tree stuff, stuff you wouldn't find normally on uh on the presentation information uh but it's really nice these these bible is meant to be a family heirloom like this is uh quintessentially the heirloom new king james bible so uh and these are they're built to be uh passed down and to last uh they have great ribbons two great ribbons now the size it's actually smaller than i thought it's a it's only about a six by nine and maybe an, an inch and a half thick i thought it was a little bit taller and a little bit wider but once it got in my hand i'm i'm thinking uh i was just kind of surprised by it being a little smaller than i thought all right here's the uh uh the titling uh, title page you have the words of christ in red and uh, Thomas Nelson Publishers, Nashville, at the bottom. Uh, the reference edition being center column references and concordance and maps. Uh, so really cool stuff. 
let's uh, open it up and see what this French mill paper looks like. Now this is French paper. Here's a uh, 2004 printing and uh, sorry, 2001 printing and uh, I mean this paper is the same it's the same paper uh, that you'll find in a judge the uh, the O2 uh, new uh, cyclone reference NASB uh, I mean this is this is the best paper in my opinion the best paper ever used to print a Bible on and uh, it's a shame more or not uh, more Bibles didn't use this paper but just look at how the readability of this it's smaller size you have hardly any ghosting uh, the uh, the darker print it's a verse by verse I mean this is just amazing uh, you have the the bolder uh, number where the paragraph new paragraph starts uh, it's just awesome you have a little book introduction at the top and uh, it's just awesome I want to show you the red letter as well but this this paper and this readability just you don't find that anymore uh, it's uh, it's spectacular again this size is a little smaller than I was expecting uh, but you know with the smaller size you'd expect more ghosting and you just don't have it and this is not a line matched edition that's what I find so fascinating by this paper uh, without line matching it has minimal minimal ghosting uh, just due to this incredible French mill paper so if you're looking for one Bible one New King James Bible to be your only Bible where you might spend a couple hundred dollars on a Schuyler Quintel another hundred dollars on or two hundred dollars on a couple of the the um, premier collection editions I would almost recommend uh, you save that money and find an older early 2000s Nelson Signature Series edition with the French paper because this Bible this Bible just uh, it it does it all and it it is a higher quality uh, and it even if you purchase Bibles from a collecting standpoint this Bible will retain its value and even increase in value much more than the collective group of others because it's it's just so good it's good great paper great binding great printing great translation uh, just look at this this is amazing in the Psalms uh, where you would find the most ghosting you can see some in some of the blank areas but it is so minimal uh, the the printing is excellent the 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 prints really dark it's really nice uh, it's just amazing let's get to the New Testament I can show you the red letter and uh, here we go look at this this is the Nelson red letter now this red is the perfect red it is it's it's like a darker almost a crimson color it's just beautiful uh, and and up against the gold with the tan cover it just flows so nicely uh, it's just amazing uh, it really is amazing I love that it's a verse by verse this might be and I'm gonna do a comparison because I have a New King James uh, preaching Bible uh, that is produced by uh, Nelson, one of the most recent productions. It's verse by verse. Uh, it doesn't have center column references. It has the references at the bottom, more like the Schuyler style layout. But I'm going to do a comparison with it as well. But look at this. It's just amazing. This That red letter so consistent, page to page, same red. Uh, the printing is so good. It's, it's, it's as good as it gets with regard to a New King James edition. The only negative I could find is what you see right here that the pages uh, they don't they don't start a new page uh, at each individual book uh, so you have like the second epistle of John and you have it up here and then you start the description of the third epistle of John and then the actual book starts uh, on the next page 
So that's the only thing that I could find that, that just isn't perfect. But even the, the judge does that. That layout, the Cyclone reference, does the exact same thing. And, uh, and folks love it. I still love it. It's just not, not particularly as organized as I would, as I would uh, you know, like. You have the Harmony of the Gospels in the back. And that's a cool feature. If you've never looked through the Harmony of the Gospels, it's awesome. You have your concordance, which I like this concordance. It's three columns. Uh, it's, it's not like the same concordance you'd find in the open Bible, the New King James open Bible, but that's the largest concordance, but this is, is definitely usable. And if you're doing study with this, that's why this Bible does pretty much everything. You can study with it. You can preach with it. Uh, you can, uh, minister with it. It's just awesome. And then also you have maps. Now the maps are on a mat. It, it, it looks semi-glossy, but they're full-page maps. That's pretty cool. I do like having some marginal room for notes, but it is a cool feature to have the full-page maps. Uh, they seem to, to have a better continuity between the pages. Uh, so there is there's some benefit to having full-page maps without the marginal room. Uh, the paper is uh, more of a matte finish. Uh, rather than being super glossy, it's not completely matte. It's not completely uh, like the Bible paper, but it I would call it like a semi-gloss, but it's way better than any glossy cardstock you'll find. So, And then you have some cardstock in the back there. You can see a lot of cardstock in the back for writing notes and stuff. And then you can see it's edge lined on the back of the block as well with that beautiful tan uh, leather at end sheet. And then you have your liner uh and the back of the cover now this abba calf skin is just like butter in your hand it's awesome it has a, a decent little yap uh, and you can see where with time this will uh, mold over uh, but it's, it's just really nice and the the gilding's perfect you have two ribbons and the gold and brown head and tail bands on the top and bottom uh, it's just awesome. This is probably the nicest New King James Bible I have ever seen. Uh, and uh, this is definitely the nicest New King James Bible. This is probably one of the nicest Bibles I've ever seen, period. Uh, the only improvements I would make would be the layout slightly differing, uh, where it doesn't, uh, it gives you a new page for a new book and possibly more yet. But I'm, I'm a big yap guy anyway, but this is near perfection. That's what this is, as close to perfection as I've found with the New King James Bible. So uh, this is beautiful. Thank you to my buddy uh, for loaning it to me. Again, I'll make a few videos comparing this edition to other New King James editions. So if you're in the market for a New King James Bible, uh, this is this is as good as it gets without going uh, the extra expense and having one custom bound to your exact specifications, the block, which you can't change, the block gets no better than this. This is the best, best, best New King James text block you're ever going to find, uh, at least until, in, unless they ever make one uh, that's, that's, uh, that rivals this. But as of yet, I have not seen it, or I don't know of any in the, in the works, even the newer 36 GSM with the multicolor printing. Uh, that's, that's a really nice feature, but it still is not the same feel and look as the French mill paper. So, uh, but I will show you again, I'll show you the comparison between those and this, uh, to, to be able to show you why these are $400 three or $400. So, uh, but if you're, if you're in the market for a Bible, new King James, I recommend that you save your money and find a signature series because you will not be disappointed at all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like Bible reviews and stuff like this um, and give it a like and give it a comment. Do you have one of these signature series Bibles? Um, do you have a, a Bible that you think would compare? I would love to find one and compare it to it. 
uh, to, uh, maybe I'm missing something. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, thank you for watching and uh, God bless everybody.